Marleen Dieleban, Associate Professor in the Department of Strategy and Policy at NUS Business School. In this video, we're going to look at how focusing on core competencies helps leverage business success. Core competencies are bundles of elements which help you to compete. You might think of them as the DNA of an organization. They're not one product or one technology, they're a collection of skills and resources working together. To be really effective, they shouldn't be too easy to imitate. Let's take the example of British luxury goods brand Burberry. Back in 2006, the global luxury goods industry was seeing spectacular growth. Burberry, on the other hand, was not. To turn the company around, a new CEO was hired, Angela Ahrens, an American an unlikely hero to lead a revival of this old British firm. When Ahrens came on board, she made an assessment of what was wrong with the company. We were doing so many different things and we were selling a lot of different products, but none of it was exclusive or compelling. Burberry had lost its way and had nothing to distinguish itself. Burberry was established in 1856 by Thomas Burberry a leading innovator in textile manufacturing. His company invented a new method for producing textiles called gabardine that were warm, easy to wear and water resistant. In 1911, the Burberry firm designed the clothing and tents used in the first successful expedition to the South Pole. A few years later, they created the clothing for the first ever transatlantic flight. And during World War I, Burberry came up with its all-time classic trench coat. In the decades that followed, the trench coat grew to become Burberry's iconic product. Movie stars and royalty wore them. And in the 1970s, anyone who was or wanted to be classy had a trench coat. When Angela Ahrens took over in 2006, Burberry had expanded into a wide range of luxury clothing and leather goods. But where were the trench coats? They remained the company's most famous product, but were neglected. At one top management meeting, Ahrens noted that even the company's bosses didn't wear them. Ahrens declared it was time for Burberry to both modernize and go back to its roots. Burberry needed to build upon its history, reinventing the brand around its core competencies of iconic and innovative clothing, especially coats and outerwear. Targeting younger consumers in emerging markets, she merged classic designs with modern styles and launched campaigns on digital media to market them. In a 2010 interview with the Wall Street Journal, she revealed one of the influences on her strategy. If I look to any company as a model, it's Apple. They're a brilliant company working to create a lifestyle and that's the way I see us. This chart shows the impact on sales. Burberry today continues to put quality and heritage at the heart of its brand. What made the company famous? Its core competencies of quality and craftsmanship, unique resources, heritage and brand is back at center stage. This package of resources and skills is rooted deeply in the company's DNA. These are not easy to imitate, but when nurtured and used wisely, they can be priceless. Competing based on their core competencies helped Burberry to get an advantage and rebuild its financials. It also opened up a range of new markets, including emerging markets and young people. Building and maintaining core competencies is a key task of any strategist. I hope this example helps you to grasp and remember what core competencies can do for a firm. By the way, you may be curious to know where Angela Ahrens is now. On the back of her success at Burberry, in 2014, she was hired by Apple to revamp their global network of Apple stores.